Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the last episode in the sixth section of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 6.15 is entitled A Comely, that means good looking, human form, a sweet voice, wealth, power in the world, fame, and wearing of Prada. Often I see that human beings who are very handsome, very beautiful, or have a beautiful voice, or a comely, attractive manner, or who have a position of power in the world, are prime targets for negative astral beings. Why is this? My thought is that these qualities make it likely that people will know lots of other people, and this will increase the likelihood that negative astral beings can glom with the soul wounding of all the people who are attracted to these prime targets, creating a feeding frenzy of the dark. I have for you an image entitled Tamara, that's T-A-M-A-R-A, -A -A, and the Demon by Mikhail Vrubel, 1890, in Wikimedia Commons, and it's in the public domain. It's another eerie picture by Mikhail Vrubel. There's a beautiful young woman gazing in trance, almost as if she were in a trance, at a demon who is very close to her, looking her directly in the eyes. And the demon has a, an odd look on its face, a predatory look, I feel. And the young lady looks completely accepting of the demon, as if she trusts it and believes in it. Pretty much of a spook out this picture. Here's a subsection entitled, The Sole Lesson of a Lifetime of Beauty, Wealth, Power, or Fame. While it is not universally true, it may sometimes be true that people who request a comely human form or power in the world or great wealth or fame on incarnating may be asking their guardian angels for the wrong thing. They may be making a wish that will interfere with their soul evolution, a wish that will not bring them closer to God awareness. In order to show them what is more true and more desirable than a comely form, a beautiful voice, a great deal of wealth, or power in the world, or fame, God may offer them as a, quote, tough love, unquote, teaching mechanism, the hell world experience of obsession or possession by the negative astral beings. I have for you an image entitled Satanic Image by Odilon Redon, 1885, in Wikimedia Commons, public domain. Here it is. It's a shadowy man with his head downcast, looking in fact somewhat despondent, maybe even despairing. And overall I get an image of doom and gloom and despondency. Maybe this is a picture of a man who has um, chosen something superficial on incarnating, such as fame or power or good looks, and then finds conflict with satanic incursions and then becomes despondent. That was my thought about it. Here is a subsection entitled The Stance of Negative Astral Beings regarding humans who have qualities that make them very popular. As far as the negative astral beings themselves are concerned, in regard to comeliness, the beauty, the great deceptiveness or trickery of the voice, I feel they value these very much. 
I've also found that one of the fastest ways to get a negative astral being to ease off on the soul snacking temporarily is to say, my, what a comely man you are. How elegantly you are dressed. How fine your shoes are. Negative astral beings apparently are calmed by this in some way. Perhaps through long association with humankind, they have come to regard themselves as very good-looking men who are very well dressed and cut a fine figure in the world, even though they are not human beings. Deeper than this, the negative astral beings vie for power and wealth of souls ensnared and wealth of negative astral underlings who must do their bidding. That may be another reason they seek out people who are beautiful, wealthy, powerful, or famous. Not just because these people are useful when the negative astral beings need to eat something, but also through personal affinity. In other words, the negative astral beings can snack on them and also feel good about being near them because they apparently perceive themselves as being rather like them. I have for you an image entitled Demon, in parentheses, Sitting, by Mikhail Vrubel, 1890, from Wikimedia Commons, in the public domain. You can see the same demon as was featured in the duo with the beautiful young woman uh, looking adoringly at the demon, or else his younger brother. Uh, this might be a demon that haunted Rubel himself, I feel, on the psychic plane. Uh, very good-looking, muscular, uh, healthy, toned, young male demon, I guess, or a demon that looks like a man. He's somehow extremely attractive and extremely menacing at the same time. I think it's a look in the eyes, perhaps, or the way that the mouth is. Now, this is the end of the last episode in section six of the video series. Coming up, the next and last video will be the conclusion to the entire series. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.